Hey, what's up, guys? I want to show you this. So look at this. With just one click, how easy it is to change this whole sky. Today, I want to share with you this awesome feature in the new Photoshop 2021. It's called Sky Replacement. It's a really great tool for a quick change in the skies of your renders. But before we start, I want to let you know that I have a free training called 10 Secrets to Achieve Realistic 3D Renders, where I share my secrets and show how to make this interior render. So don't forget to sign up. I'll leave a link in the top right corner and in the description below this video. Don't forget, it's free. So without further ado, let's dive into it. So if we go here, Edit, we'll see now a new functionality called Sky Replacement. If we click here, okay, you'll now see this uh, uh, sky replacement tool. And let's move this up here. And if you, if you click here, you see this all these skies, blue skies. So if you click, look at this. It immediately changes the sky. You don't have to do any mask, any masking here around, especially these areas that are a little bit complicated. And if you change this, see how easy it is. You can switch between any of these already skies that they have here avail available. And uh, of course, you have to select one that more or less matches your, your lighting. But let's say that I, will, I want this one. Now, I go here to these options. I can decrease the brightness of the sky or increase. That's a little bit like this. I can make it colder or warmer. Okay. Actually, for this uh, scene, I think more or less like this would be nice. I can change the scale as well. So the sky is bigger. But actually, you have to pay attention to that or else I'll start seeing this margin here. So it's better to increase it a little bit. And here on the bottom, you have light adjustment. So this lighting adjustment, it will uh, adjust the light within your scene. So let's say, let's put all to the maximum. See how it changes this. So let's put all the way back. So you can adjust a little bit here. If you have a darker sky, you would have uh, as well a darker ground. So, And here as well, the color adjustment. You see a little bit more warm tones or darker tones and let's just go back here and you see that blue skies you have spectacular so even with a, a rainbow and of course you will not ch uh, change to this one because here it's on the sunset and we for this scene we have a midday sun so it doesn't match at all neither this one even though it looks very good but we, we need to pay attention to that and uh, maybe for example this one uh, sometimes you have skies like this and you have an entrance uh, of the clouds where the sun is shining, so it could work as well. And let me just see what else I have here. For example, this one, I actually like this one a lot. It could work as well for this scene. And if you compare, let's see this preview, with and without, it's a, it's a completely different mood of the scene. So, and here again, you can just adjust uh, the warm tones a little bit, the light adjustment, darker or lighter. Let's keep it more or less like this. And as well, the warmer tones of the sky. So, and let's say I'm happy with this. I will just click here, okay? And the good thing about this is that it uh, creates a folder with, with the sky and with the lighting as well, and all of this with the masks, okay? So if you just hold Control and uh, click on the mask, it will show you the selection, okay? So you can make any changes here, or you can even uh, even move the, the sky around, you know, position it better, or in this case, scale it a little bit. Okay, so let's not do that. So, but uh, let's say that you don't, uh, you don't want this one, you found something online that you really like. So let's go back here, and let's go to a website called Pexels. This is one of the many free stock photos that you can find online. And here, let's just type, for example, blue sky. And now let's search for something that we like. Let's see. So we have many here. So anything will do. Just select one of these that you would like. And then inside Photoshop, you go again to the sky replacement tool. And here, here you will uh, click on this icon here and select the one that you chose, okay? 
give it a name. Let's leave it like this. And okay, your sky is here already, imported. And again, you can scale it. Let's say one sky like this. I think it's too um, cold, this sky. So I'm going to increase the temperature just for the sky and maybe the brightness as well a little bit. So we are trying here just to match it with the, with the scene and maybe color adjustment and lighting a little bit more light. Okay, now I have a second sky. So I can quickly check all the options and you can, as you can see, this is one mode and this will be another one and this is definitely another one. So this was just a quick tip when you're not so happy with your sky you can just use this and if you have of course this version of Photoshop and uh, you can quickly scroll for these different sky versions and see which one fits best to your render. So there you have it. I hope you liked this video and if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I would like to remind you that you can sign up for my free training my top 10 secrets to achieve realistic 3D renders. I'll leave a link in the top right corner and in the description below this video. And I'll see you in the next video.